Welcome baseball fans to MLB Slugfest 2003 on Bad Hop Baseball, the inaugural episode of Bad Hop Baseball. So today we're going to play this old classic game that uh, I've played for many years on GameCube. We're going to go with the Mariners versus Yankees, and yes, I will be using cheats. Unlimited Turbo, of course, which is B four times, Y four times, X four times, then down on the D-pad. All right, let's get it started. We got Alfonso Soriano up the plate, Jamie Moyer on the mound. This is going to be good. I usually like to go with a high fastball to start them off. 115 miles an hour, that's how you do it. And let's mix him up with a little curveball outside. He might hit it out of the ballpark, but what the heck. Nope. Ah, shoot. Didn't quite get to that one. And we got Jeter. You know what? I'm just going to go straight high fastball. It seems to work for me most of the time. Jeez. We'll get him at the plate. If he tried it. Not going so well for me so far. Jeez. Oh, man. That's all right. We'll make a comeback. It's only the first inning. Get that ball. Love how you can throw them out at first. From clear out in right field in this game. High fastballs is all you got to do, folks. It works every time. Pretty much. Until they figure it out and hit a home run. But Anyway, here we go. Let's get into the bottom half of the first inning with Ichiro up to bat. And they're going to bean me. In the legs. But it has no effect. So we get Ichiro on first base, which is always a good thing because we're going to steal second right away. And with the turbo, we'll easily get there. A little punch, punch, and uh, yeah, call it good. Why don't we just steal third while we're at it? Punch it out, head home, go back, shoot. Ah, oh, I forgot the button to go back. Oh, well. And that was a ruined opportunity there. We got Ichiro out at the plate. Giambi, or not Giambi, Cirillo flies out. Now we got Brett Boone at the plate. It's all right. Booney will hit something. Not quite. Oh, I think I might be using the wrong button for turbo. No, no, I'm not. I'll be honest. I'm playing this on an emulator on my PC using a PS4 controller. So that's why I'm sucking right now. Yes, it's a valid excuse. And I'll warm up to it. Trust me, I'm a lot better at this game than I'm making it look like right now. <laughs> you might not believe it, but uh, you'll see, you'll see. I'll come around. It's going to take me a minute to get used to these controls, but I'll stop BSing about it. Like I said, high fastballs. Okay, I guess I know nothing. I know nothing about this game, it seems. Thought I did. Oh, 
approaching. Flying shot to third. Lordy, Lordy, hallelujah. What the heck's going on here? I'm not even going to try punching that guy. He's just going to knock it out of my hands and run. All right, let's go for the friggin' ground out double play. Or line out double play. Nope. Pick it up, throw a second, throw back to first, gun him out. There. Hey, we did get the double play after all. They ain't going to no-hit me. We got Edgar Martinez at the plate. And they're going to beat him. Oh, yeah. We get to see him charge the mound. Edgar ain't going to take that. No, he ain't. Classic slugfest moment. And he gets boosted stats, as you can see. All right. We're going to steal a second. Because we have a fireman on turbo. We're also going to steal third after this, but I'm not going to try to go home because Olerud can hit. So. But I will uh, Jimmy tap him as he throws the ball back to the pitcher. And here comes Olerud. With two strikes, he jacks one out to deep center field. We'll just skip the old run around the park, run around the bases, and see Cammy up to bat, see what he can do. Ground out to short. And here comes Carlos again. Uh, he pops out the left field, but at least we got two runs on the board before we got two outs. But let's see what Ruben Sierra can do here with two outs now. Nobody on base. And another fly out. But hey, we put uh, some runs on the board, so can't complain too much. All right, what's he want? He wants a sinker low over the plate. He's going to jack it out. Nope. All right, I guess I was right this time. <laughs> I mean, I guessed that he would jack it out, but anyway, whatever. Let's just throw some more high fastballs, see what happens. And Ichiro did not get it somehow. It bounced off his arm. Well, Ichiro was my favorite player while he was uh, on the Mariners. So uh, I'll give him a break. But anyway... Not sure why he didn't catch that one. Normally, uh, you get right where the ball is and uh, it works out. But not this time. Playing on an emulator has its disadvantages. That should have been an infield fly, pretty much. <laughs> not really. It was in the outfield, but you know what I mean. Tricked him. In this game, that's basically an infield fly. There you go. All right, we got three up. Well, we didn't get three up, three down, but we got three outs. Here we go. Davis, the worst hitter on the team. Let's see what he can do. And he pops out to left field. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But here we go with Ichiro. Let's see what he can do. He got beamed last time. He needs his revenge. Big foul ball out into the king's court, which would... One day be called the King's Court. Hey, there we go. Let's see him round that first base and head for second and then head all the way to third. We're going to just hold up there so we don't risk anything. Don't want to make Ichiro look like any more of a fool than I already have made him look like so far. But we just need a little base hit and then eh, we'll tag up. What the hell? No, we won't. All right, we got two outs. Let's just have Ichiro steal home. What the heck? There we go. Hit and run, whatever you want to call it. Booney, 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 Booney. He's rounding third. He's heading for the plate. He slides into home. The throw is too late. Hey, four to four in the bottom of the third. And Edgar is up to bat. Let's see if he can... Uh, Rip a shot here. 
And he's off of being on fire. Son of a gun. Okay, well, top of the fourth. We're getting almost halfway through the game. There you go, Booney. Let's get this over with. Let's get this over with. We don't need to be playing these Yankees for too long. I tell you what. Let's go. Curveball low and away. See what happens. Hey, line out to the pitcher. Very nice. Okay, this guy's uh, got a little steam coming off him. Let's go with a sinker inside. Oh, good call there, boys and girls. <laughs> All right, now let's see here. Uh, hmm, fastball, curveball, slider. Fastball, outside. Get it. Why does it keep bouncing off of them? I don't get it. It must be something to do with the emulator. But anyway, here we go now. Johnny Olerud. Such a solid player. Unfortunately, I became a Mariners fan about 2004, which was the season after they had been a successful team, you know? They'd been pretty successful from 95 up till 2003, and I became a fan just after that period. So, um... I didn't really watch these guys play, but I got to live through them in MLB Slugfest 2003, sort of. Got to see how good they were, in a way. Not really, but you know what I mean. All right, again, we got something going here now. Ah, what the heck, go for the plate. Love that power slide. Knocks the ball out of their hands. <laughs> All right, Ruben. Let's get a rip. Eh, that's all right, buddy. Get at him next time. Now, Davis, I expect big things out of you. What are you doing, Davis? Why are you doing this? Jumping back and forth? <laughs> all right, let's get real. Pop out. Whatevs. Bernie Williams, solid player. Soriano, Jeter, Giambi coming up. Soriano's two for two. You know what? I'm going to do something semi-risky here. Maybe not that risky, but I'm going to bean him, put him on base. Take his legs out. Hopefully that subtracts from his speed. It does. And now we're going to go after Jeter, who's probably, well, definitely even more of a threat. So I don't know what exactly I was thinking here, but... Uh, Jeter hasn't been doing as well today, I don't think. I missed the stat there. But, hey, we got a double play right here. Boop. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was planning to do. Turn a double play. I expected it to be on the ground, but I'll take a line out. Only in this game. Now, Giambi, let's see what does he want. He wants a sinker inside. Let's see how that goes. And we got that one. <laughs> hey, good inning. Good inning. All right, we got Ichiro, Cirillo, and Boone coming up. Ichiro is going to rip a shot, maybe hit one out. I don't know. Nope. Never mind. I don't know what I'm talking about. Really, I don't. I'm sorry, guys. I'm a sham. This is only my first video on this channel, and I'm already losing credibility points like none else, none other. And I'm even playing with cheats, so I don't know. This isn't so impressive, but I don't care. It's just for fun, you know? We're just having a good time playing some baseball. Oh, yeah. All right, well, so far I'm not doing anything impressive. Usually when I play this on GameCube, I score like 20 runs or more. But how would you believe me if there's no footage? So... I better stop talking myself up and just play some ball, you know? I mean, it's kind of better this way, honestly. It, it's, it was starting to get old just crushing the computer all the time and crushing my friends at this game, so... A little challenge doesn't hurt anybody at all. Whether it's the controls or me or 
whatever, the emulator, whatever excuse you want to use. Hey, I'm having fun. That's all that matters. And hopefully you're having fun watching. You know? And if you're not, well, I am sorry. But there ain't nothing I can do about it except do my best. And that's what I intend to do. So, anywho, um, yeah, on this channel... I am planning to do different things like have gaming videos, uh, maybe some baseball news, and maybe some baseball tutorials, tips and tricks in real life, um, maybe some history lessons, some, you know, fun facts sort of things, I don't know. We're, we're going to see where it goes. I just started this channel, and I'm, like I said, not really exactly sure where I want to go with it. I do know... The one thing is for sure that I do want it to be all about baseball. So, if you're a baseball fan, this is the place for you. This channel. If you're not a baseball fan, you might still find some enjoyment out of it. If you're not an avid fan of the game, you might find a video here or there that'll interest you, such as this gaming video. Uh, I think a lot of people these days like video games. I mean, that's a fact, you know, so might have fun watching me play this and commentating a little bit so you can find some joy in that maybe you're a new baseball fan or you uh, are wanting to become a baseball fan this is a good channel for you to start off with you know I, I think there's a decent amount of uh, nice home run there again just out over the scoreboard very nice 347 feet yeah not bad um, but anyway, as I was saying, if you're a budding baseball fan, this is the place for you. You will enjoy it because I am going to cater to generally the average fan. That's what this is all about. The average fan, not some professional baseball player who knows everything about the game, has all the history down, or not even, you know, someone that's just an expert baseball fan. This is for the average fan who likes fun facts. They like to see tips and tricks. They like to see a little comedy. All of that stuff. Oh, they beam Ichiro for the second time? Yeah, Ichiro, you better get out there and just wreck him. Just wreck Roger Clemens. Destroy him. Very good to see. Very good to see Ichiro not putting up with that BS. Anyway, 10 to 4. Now I'm starting to show my true colors a little bit here. Let's just have Ichiro steal second. And you know what? We're going to round second and head for third. And we're going to slide into third. Hit him with the ball. Uh, hit the ball out of his hand. Here we go. Jeff Cirillo. Let's have him steal. Oh, nice. I rarely hold up on a pitch that's a ball. All right. Let's just have him steal home. What the heck? He's on fire. He's he's going to easily make it in there. Slide in home. Boom. Didn't even tag him. Didn't even try. Hardly. <laughs> Here we go, Jeff. Boop. And a little ground out. But that's all right. We've done some damage. We've done did some damage. Rondell White. Here we go. High fastball. Nope. Couldn't get to it. Somebody get to it, please. For the love of all that is good. All right, we got him at third. Easy. Well, oh, nope. Oh, well. What are they going to do when we got a sinker on the inside? That, that pitch has been working fantastic for me so far. Surprisingly. Usually I just go with the high fastball and it works great. But as you could see earlier, there was a home run. And so I've lost faith in my high fastball strategy maybe it's just a yankee thing maybe they can hit the high fastball whereas others can't i don't know oh crap all right high fastball worked this time and for some reason the guy is running to second so we'll get an easy double play i love it when that happens the physics of this game, the way it's set up, 
I just, it just, you know, this was actually my first baseball game I ever played. Honestly. And I was very surprised when I first played it, how you could just beat the crap out of each other and all the showboating that goes on, all the crazy slides, the crazy jump kicks, and just the overall gameplay just really threw me out for a loop when I first played it, and then I got into it, and I loved it ever since. All right, a few more innings left to go. We've got Edgar Martinez up to bat. And he swings and boots it on up in the center field for a line out. Don't know what or where I'm going with all these accents. But, like I keep on saying, this is my first time doing this kind of a video on this channel especially. So, I will develop my craft as I go along. But bear with me. Bear with me as I get my commentating skills down. We'll tag up and head home and get that old power slide in there. All right, top of the eighth. This game is almost over, and we have a nice solid lead. Let's see if we can hold on to it. High fastball to Jeter, probably not the best idea, but it worked. So I guess it was a good idea. Now, Giambi, I seem to believe that the sinker works best against him. Or rather, curveball, since I messed up the controls there. But that worked just fine and dandy. All right. Now, let's see. How about that sinker I was talking about on the inside corner? And Ichiro not going to get there. That's all right. He'll throw it on to second, and that'll be a single into the corner. Only a single. Let's just keep trying that sinker and see what happens. Nope. Another single. Yep, you're going to get doused at second. <laughs> hey, got him. Got him good. <laughs> All right, Sierra, I seem to remember you flying out a lot today. It's time for you to jack one out, my friend. There it is. Hey, 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 hey. All right, let's get a few more insurance runs before we head into the ninth. Let's see what Ben Davis can do. He's been hitting pretty good today for being the worst hitter on the team. Inside the Parker? I think so. Yep. Hey, 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 that's how you do it, folks. That's how you play baseball in MLB Slugfest 2003 style. Hey, Ichiro lines out to the second baseman. That's okay because we got Jeff Cirillo coming up. He's a solid hitter. See what he can do. Nope, got under that one. That's all right. Booney, Booney, here we go, Booney, bo and that's classic Booney right there for you. Before he got bad in 2005, after that LASIK eye surgery, uh, that just killed him. I think I don't know if it was that, or maybe he was using steroids, or I I don't know. Just rumor mill stuff that I'm spouting off right now. But Booney, back in his day, good player, solid player. Now, I'm having trouble figuring out which button I assigned on this PS4 controller to running back. Oh, yeah, it's Z, and I think Z is the right stick in this case. Oh, all right, three outs. Well, I won't be having any more base running going on here, so here we go. Let's see if we can get a three-up, three-down inning. Why don't we bring in a reliever? How about our classic reliever, Sasaki? Alrighty, let's see what Sasaki can do. High fastball for strike one. 
Let's go with a curveball inside. He lays off the curve. Let's see what he will do with another, oh, I don't know, sinker outside. This guy's pretty much got the same pitches. And I think the only advantage in this game of using a reliever is that you get your full turbo back when you do it. If your turbo bar was down, of course, it doesn't matter for me right now since I am playing with unlimited turbo cheat. But as I was saying, if your turbo bar was down and you really needed some turbo, that's the advantage of using a reliever in this game. It's not as advanced as these advanced as these games today like MLB The Show where it actually keeps track of your energy and confidence level and all that stuff. Um, Perhaps at some point I might even play MLB The Show if I can figure out how to get my PS4 hooked up. That's where I play it. I've only got MLB The Show 19, unfortunately. I don't have 20, and I don't really intend to buy 20 anytime soon. But hey, hopefully you'll still enjoy watching 19, even though it's not the latest, greatest game. Close enough, right? I mean, come on. Let's get a double play. Nope. Alright, we just got one. Maybe Sasaki wasn't the best choice, but then again, like I said, it really doesn't matter that much. He's got the same pitches. All the pitchers are pretty much the same skill level. It doesn't matter in this game. All right, we're down to our last out, folks. Let's see if we can get this out with a high fastball. All right, you can't throw the same pitch twice, can you? And get away with it? <gasps> yes, you can. Alrighty, there's the game. Thanks so much for watching, folks. I really appreciate your views. I appreciate you commenting, liking, sharing, subscribing, doing all that fantastic stuff that helps me grow this channel and being able to provide you with more great entertainment, information, and just overall great baseball content. I really appreciate you guys and gals. Um, thank you for tuning in to this first episode of Bad Hop Baseball. I'm Tal Norvell, signing off.